G'day, 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 you absolute bunch of bloody legends. Loser Bum is back in the little rectangle on your screen, providing some high quality, high production value internet content, as always. So, I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to talk about a concept. I might do more videos where I just take a concept, an idea, a word, and chat about that for a few minutes. We did that back in a while when I was talking about binge, for example. And today's concept is alter ego. The world word is alter ego ego. So uh, from the Latin uh, means uh, the altar means uh, the other one, an alternative is something else. And the ego means I. So the alter ego is the other I, my other identity. So people have, um, you know, people can have secret identities. That's what it's all about, right? So there's me, but I also have another identity. It doesn't have to be uh, uh, secret, but it very often is. Where do we see alter ego? Think for yourself, it's in the movies, it's in the comic books, like a uh, classic one, all superheroes, uh, not all of them, but a lot of superheroes tend to have an alternate identity. So Hulk, his secret identity is mild-mannered nuclear scientist Bruce Banner. That's his alter ego. And when he gets angry, he turns into the Hulk. Uh, another one, so Bruce Banner, BB. You have another one, Spider-Man. Nobody's supposed to know who his real identity is. His alter ego is... Peter Parker. Again, PP. The comic book guys didn't spend a lot of time making up his his names. Now, you could argue whether Peter, uh, Peter Parker is the alter ego or Spider-Man is the alter ego. They're actually equal. It's just the other identity. Um, and like, I mean, with the Hulk, you kind of get it, right? He turns into this big green guy. This is the old TV series. And he doesn't look like Bruce Banner. So when you don't uh, see them uh, next to each other, um, or when you don't see pictures, you can't see it's the same guys when you don't see the transformation. Same thing with Peter Parker. He's got a mask, so if you don't know who's under the mask, you could never twig that Peter Parker is actually Spider-Man. Uh, another famous one, the great granddaddy of all superheroes is Superman. And in the original Superman, the or, and still today, the alter ego of uh, Superman was mild-mannered reporter for the Daily Planet, Clark Kent. And there it was a bit of a, they were a bit taking the mickey, right? Because this is Clark Kent, this is what he looks like, and this is Superman. He doesn't have a mask, he doesn't turn green, and just because he takes his glasses off, nobody twigs that Superman is Clark Kent. Willing suspension of disbelief was definitely necessary. So, yeah, that's alter egos. Uh, if we go to the Wikipedia page, remember Wikipedia binges, always interesting where this kind of stuff happens. Uh, maybe spies um, that do it or people trying to hide from each other. There's a lot of it in films, a lot of it in books. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, people like that. So, yeah, that's an alter ego. If you're a spy, maybe during the day, you're just a guy who's a baker and at night you put on a mask and go and spy on people. I mean, even I, loser bum, could have, who knows, you know, you could have a, I could have an alter ego as a mild-mannered computer consultant. Nah, that's rubbish. That's a silly idea. Completely silly. There's only one loser bum and he's here. So remember to like, share and subscribe. Remember to tell your friends to like, share and subscribe. I'm loser bum. You're the internet. You're bloody awesome. And I'm out of here.